In this video, we're going to be showing you the installation of the Masterflow appliance roof vent. First step in the installation is to center or align it directly above the appliance that you're going to be installing it to. We've already done that inside the roof. Now we're going to mark the opening and cut open the shingles. Now that I've got my hole marked, I'm cutting through two layers of shingles to expose the decking, and then I'm gonna cut through the plywood. Now that I've exposed the decking, I'm gonna take a paddle bit, drill a hole into the side of my opening where my shingles are at to make it easier to get a saw blade in to cut my decking out. Now that we've got our decking exposed, we've got our pilot hole drilled, I'm gonna use a jigsaw because the length of my blade does not allow me to get over into the rafters. And one of the reasons why we center our hole through the rafters is to make sure that we do not cut into any of our framing. Now, if you're gonna use a sawzall or something of that nature that may have a longer blade, you wanna make sure that you're very careful about how you're cutting that hole out so you don't get angled in and cut any of your framing. Now that I've got my hole cut, I'm gonna dry fit my master flow roof appliance vent. Now I wanna try and figure out how to cut out my profile of my flashing. So what I'm gonna do is gently, I'm gonna turn this upside down so as not to scratch my finish, and I'm gonna mark out the square profile of my flashing so I know where to cut my shingles. Now that I have my flashing area marked, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my shingles, pull my nails so I can insert my vent flashing. I'm gonna apply a bead of silicone or sealant to the bottom side of this flashing for better protection against the elements. Now that I have my vent inserted into my roof system, I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to the deck. Now that my flashing is secured to my roof deck, I'm gonna go ahead and re-nail all my shingles. Take a look at your seal strips in here. If you've damaged any of those, just apply a little bit of mastic on the shingle, push it into place. Just don't use too much mastic because if it heats up, it'll run down your roof. Now, if your shingles stick up a little bit like that, don't worry about it. This is just kind of a cold weather application. Once those heat, heat up, they'll lay right back down. Now, the last step for this installation on the exterior, I'm gonna take a little bit of sealant and I'm gonna seal around my base for added protection against the elements. That's how you install the Masterflow appliance roof vent. For this video and more, check us out on GAF.com.